India has made an unprecedented leap into history with its remarkable achievement in lunar exploration. In a significant milestone, the Chandrayaan-3 mission successfully executed a soft landing on the moon's rugged South Pole region. This remarkable feat places India among an exclusive group of countries that have achieved this milestone, joining the United States, the former Soviet Union and China. Welcome to International Hotspot, and today we'll be talking about how India achieved the impossible with Chandrayaan-3. But before we get down to business, why not consider subscribing to the channel? At precisely 18.04 local time, the Wikram lander from Chandrayaan-3 touched down as planned, marking a moment of triumph and celebration across the nation. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who was attending the BRICS summit in South Africa, expressed India's pride by declaring, India is now on the moon. The successful landing was a testament to the dedication and efforts of a generation of Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO scientists, as emphasized by ISRO chief Shritara Somanath. This achievement came on the heels of Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft spinning out of control and crashing into the moon, underscoring the tremendous challenges involved in lunar landings. The lunar South Pole is particularly treacherous characterized by a highly uneven surface, abundant craters and massive boulders. Despite these challenges, India's successful landing showcased the country's capability in lunar exploration. Chapter 1 – The Beginning India's lunar exploration journey began with Chandrayaan-1 in 2008 which made a groundbreaking discovery of water molecules on the lunar surface and confirmed the presence of an atmosphere during daytime. This finding challenged the conventional wisdom that the moon was entirely devoid of water, opening up new possibilities for future lunar exploration. The spacecraft's instruments, including the moon impact probe, mapped the lunar surface providing valuable data on the Moon's topography and mineral composition. It helped scientists better understand the Moon's geological history. Chandrayaan-1 also provided evidence of a tenuous lunar atmosphere, which is most pronounced during the daytime. This was an unexpected discovery and added to the scientific understanding of the Moon. Unfortunately, Chandrayaan-1 had a relatively short mission life. It abruptly lost communication with Earth in August 2009, but the data collected during its operational phase proved to be of immense scientific value. Chandrayaan-2 experienced a setback during its soft landing attempt. Its orbiter continues to orbit the Moon sending valuable data and images to Earth for analysis. Chandrayaan-2 was the successor to Chandrayaan-1 and represented India's ambitious attempt to build on the achievements of the previous mission. This mission, launched on July 22, 2019, consisted of an orbiter, a lander named Wikram and a rover named Pragyan. The key objective of the mission was to achieve a successful soft landing on the Moon's south polar region, a location of great scientific interest due to the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed craters. The rover Pragyan was designed to conduct on-site experiments, analyze lunar soil and provide invaluable data on the Moon's geology. Chandrayaan-1 and 2 represent India's significant contributions to lunar science and exploration. They have not only expanded our understanding of the Moon's composition, water content and geological history, 
but have also demonstrated India's growing expertise in space exploration. These missions have laid the groundwork for future lunar missions, including Chandrayaan-3, which successfully achieved a soft landing on the Moon's South Pole, further cementing India's position in lunar exploration. Chapter 2 – Remarkable Achievement With Chandrayaan's three soft landing in the lunar South Pole region, India has not only joined the elite lunar exploration club, including the US, China and the former Soviet Union, but has also exceeded their achievements. This accomplishment comes shortly after Russia's Luna 25 faced difficulties in a similar landing attempt. Chandrayaan-3's lunar descent had to be fully autonomous, given the time delay in signal transmission between the lander and Earth. To achieve a successful landing, Vikram had to reduce its orbital velocity to zero, staying on its intended trajectory until a safe touchdown. ISRO implemented numerous redundancies and safeguards to ensure the mission's success, highlighting the importance of these improvements in overcoming the challenging lunar landing environment. Chandrayaan 3's triumphant landing was not guaranteed considering the recent failures of lunar landing attempts. The lunar exploration community faced setbacks. Chapter 3 Global Interest India is not alone in its lunar aspirations, as the Moon has become a focal point of global interest. Numerous missions are scheduled to explore its surface in the near future. Scientists emphasize that there is much more to uncover about the Moon, often regarded as a gateway to deep space. Lunar exploration has gained significant momentum globally, with various countries and organizations planning missions to the Moon. In the United States, NASA is increasingly relying on private companies for robotic exploration missions. Allowing the agency to focus on its lunar human spaceflight program, Artemis. Chapter 4 Conclusion In a world driven by dreams and ambitions, where the impossible often stands as a challenge, India's Chandrayaan 3 mission serves as a testament to human perseverance, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of the unknown. As we marvel at the remarkable journey, that led to a soft landing on the Moon's challenging South Pole, let this achievement be a beacon of inspiration. The Moon is just the beginning, for it's often said that the stars are not out of reach and the universe is our playground. So let India's achievement with Chandrayaan-3 remind us that the impossible is but a challenge waiting to be conquered. And the cosmos an infinite canvas for our dreams. And on that inspiring note, it's time for us to call it a day. But we do hope that you liked the video and found it informative. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.